What is going on YouTube? Sean back with another video and today we're going to be doing a full day of eating and I'm also going to walk you through my trigger sessions, show you a little bit what that's like because <clears throat> I've mentioned before that I've gone back to full body. I'll post that video up here and you know this is something that I do on my days off when I'm not in the gym just to give you a little bit of an insight on how you know I'm able to kind of get a pump in without actually getting a pump in. So if you're ready Let's get to it. So first meal of the day is going to be some pancakes. I've got two whole eggs and three egg whites just to keep the calories a little bit lower. Um, there's some sugar-free syrup on here as well as some hot sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this thing out and then I'm going to do my first trigger session of the day. Cheers. So about to do trigger session number one. The concept behind this is to do roughly three a day. Um, I like to break mine up anyways, so you could technically do like <clears throat> one trigger session with three sets, but I'm going to do one trigger session three times today. It's about noon, so that's typically whenever I start. Sometimes I'll start after work, depending on the day and how I feel and how sore I am from the day before. So there's a list of workouts that I can do for trigger session two, which is the current uh, phase that I'm on. And I think today I'm going to do bodyweight squats, the banded uh, chest press, as well as some hammer curls and some overhead tricep extensions. We're just going to keep this to 10 to 20 reps roughly. So nothing crazy. You'll see uh, it's just a nice pump to kind of get some type of blood flow going in each muscle group that I'm hitting. First session's done, goes really smoothly. Only took about four minutes. Um, again, it's nothing crazy, but what I like about this is I can do it anytime, anywhere. So if I have a trip on the road somewhere, I can take a band with me. It's very accessible, very easy, and I can still get some you know, movement in. And it's basically just to add some type of contraction to your muscles, so that way <clears throat> you get a little bit of a pump, but you're not like going super intense. So I'm not going to feel sore the next day or anything like that. It's just going to be a nice smooth process. Sorry, the circuits kind of got me a little bit winded. Um, but yeah, very easy, very simple. More importantly, very accessible. So with that said, I will see you all at minimum two. <laughs> So meal number two for the day is going to be protein sludge. I have it in this huge bowl because I didn't remember to start the dishwasher last night. And Hannah's out of town and she's usually the one that's good about that. So mind the bowl. As you can see I had a little smiley face in there. Uh, this recipe is really good. I have a video on it um, and it's basically pulled from Stephanie Bear who I believe is Nick Bear's wife. And if you don't know who that is, he's basically like a bodybuilder or strong or a Ironman athlete. So this is going to be meal number two for the day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat all of this and then give myself about a half an hour so that way I'm not winded after my next trigger session. Um, so I'll see you all at trigger session number two.
session number two is done. Pretty simple. Um, feel a little bit better afterwards this time. So one thing I don't think I mentioned was whenever I'm doing these, I'm just focusing on the contraction of my muscles. Again, not crazy intense, but just making sure that whenever I go up, I feel the contraction in the muscle that I'm trying to target. All right guys, meal number three for the day. We got the Kodiak cake power waffles as well as three whole eggs. These are medium eggs and some sugar-free syrup. So I'm running a little bit behind on calories today. Nothing new. If you followed the channel or you've seen any of my other full day of eating videos, then you probably know that this is pretty common on the weekends. Um, also, I want to mention that I have been doing things around the house today, so if it seems like I've just been trapped inside the apartment, I really haven't been. I've just been kind of fixing stuff up, staying active outside of the trigger sessions, and making my meals. So just thought I'd clear that up, but I didn't put it in this vlog because I wasn't really sure how entertaining that would be. But if that is something that you're interested in seeing, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to add that. I should also mention that I am getting an Instacart delivery right now. It's about 5 o'clock, so I do have other food coming on the way. So I'm not just making breakfast food today. I'll also be adding in some, you know, different proteins and some different carbs and also some vegetables because I haven't gotten a whole lot of those today. So be sure to stay tuned for meal number four. Guys, last meal of the day is some rice, chicken, and some edamame. Um, something I kind of just whipped up, I made up a little sauce as well. So I'm gonna eat this, and this is gonna conclude all of my full meals. I might have like a little low calorie ice cream thing. So stay tuned for that. All right, so last meal of the day is gonna be one of these Yazo bars. I don't know if that comes up or not, but there you go. This is only about 150 calories. I'm a little bit over with this, but I'll just cut the calories tomorrow to make up for the extra calories today. And this will be my last meal. So that wraps it up, guys. There it is. That's been my full day of eating. You got to see some of my trigger sessions. I didn't record the third one because I felt like it's kind of just a repetitive thing to keep putting on the camera. So hopefully you enjoyed today's content. If you did, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And just know that I appreciate you for making it this far. So with that said, I will see you all in the next video.